I'm Liad Ben Habib. I'm the director of the Visual Center at Yad Vashem, which is the digital film library uh, for Holocaust cinema. The Visual Center basically is trying to collect all the films in any genre and in any language from all over the world. Uh, so uh, our collection is now composed of 11,200 films, 200 titles. Um, that could be anything from the big uh, Hollywood uh, productions through um, any fiction or feature films from Europe, um, uh, video art, video dance, obviously thousands of documentaries and television programs and news magazines, anything that is related to the subject, even amateur films. And people nowadays are preparing their own films about the subject, which is a very interesting point of view and a way of telling the stories. Obviously, the witnesses are uh, primordial, have a primordial role, and they're uh, um, uh, the stories that they can tell us and they can bring us, and their perspective is very valuable, not only in understanding and trying to uh, get closer to an understanding, but also in conveying important information that sometimes, you know, the big uh, historians or the big uh, history um, uh, researchers um, are lacking that part of the personal and intimate um, uh, experience of one person and for the spectator, for somebody who hears it for the first time or for the 10,000th time, it is important because this way the, pers the personal experience is sometimes the more um, direct way for an, a spectator to identify with that immense story that is incomprehensible in any other way. The personal um, commentary, the personal story, cannot be the only way of examining what happened. And it has, it, it's, it's, it's a necessary um, tool, maybe, in, in trying to understand and grasp and, and really get closer to, uh, to an understanding of what happened. But it can be the only way. And it has to be cross-sectioned with other uh, tools uh, of memory, like photographs and documents and the historical research itself. Um, so you have to be careful because, you know, the stories are always personal and the point of view is very limited to a one person experience. Um, so when you're trying to uh, make conclusion of that story, you have to know that you need to use other sources, other materials um, to draw conclusions from. Um, how to avoid it? You have to be very, very analytical and you have to be very careful when trying to uh, uh, make any kind of assumptions or any kind of conclusions of, you know, a historical event, um, I think it's, it's a complementary tool and you have to look at it that way. Well, history sometimes tends to repeat itself, but every event has its unique characteristics and um, the characteristics of, of the Holocaust are that of that magnitude that are an event that is unprecedented and although we see other genocides and we see other um, similarities in fascist regimes, uh, there is some singularities for each event. And I think that this is the main thing of any researcher uh, task, is to see what is in common, what you can see similarities and you can draw some uh, conclusions and see the way that these two events have uh, share some of their traits. But also you have to be very careful and to identify those specific and unique uh, characteristics of each event in order not to make a very shallow assumption and conclusions, you know. If not, it's very easy to fall into uh, paradigms and, and, you know, to fall into cliches maybe. And uh, the main thing is to be, uh, you know, very analytical, very critical in your analysis and to see what it is unique to this event and what can be duplicated uh, in, in different settings. Um, it's not an easy task and I think that in the, everything that has to do with the Holocaust um, is, is something that we discussed a lot in this seminar and, and very deep. Um, it's the way that, you, you know, you have to put things in context. And sometimes, uh, you know, for as time goes by and we get farther and farther from the event, um, there is a tendency maybe to, to draw into the most easiest conclusions and forget about the, the very, uh, the hardcore facts and the hardcore 
uh, as special characteristic of an event. And this is what is our task as, as you know, people who want to tell the story for future generations. We have to be very critical and we have to be um, very precise in the context of the event itself and our conclusions from it.